Hello guys, welcome back. This is more 49ers news and this is day four of the training camp video. Uh, we're going to check the article out on Grant Cohen because he was there and he's going to give you um, his good and bad news of the day. So let's get into it. Before we start guys, check the link in the uh, description. Uh, what I'll be doing on the pre-season and regular season on the NFL because I will be seeing it guys. And um, yeah, I'll let you guys get into that uh, if you want to watch it. Okay, so... This is on si.com forward slash NFL forward slash 49ers. This is the news, the good and not so good training camp for, for day four for the 49ers. So let's read. Analyzing the best and worst performances from day four of the 49ers training camp by Grant Cohen. Check out his YouTube channel. Really, really good. So here we go. Who stood out on day four? Okay, the good. Linebacker, Fred Warner. Uh, there he is hanging out in the flat minding his own business when Jimmy Garoppolo threw the ball at him. Rude. So Warner uh, intercepted it and returned it for a touchdown. Quite generous of Garoppolo to make his teammate look good. Uh, number two, cornerback Jason Vern. Uh, he broke up one of Jimmy's passes and it attempted another on the interception. Ver uh, Vernon had gone, had gotten beat. Uh, Vernon had gotten beat deep by Debo Samuel. But Jimmy's pass was so badly underthrown that Vernon picked it off easily. You simply can't put a price on Jimmy's generosity. It's infamous. Uh, number three, safety, J uh, Jamie Ward. Uh, gave up zero catches as usual. No one ever tests his uh, courage, uh, coverage uh, because he's the best cover guy on the team. Even better than Walnut and Vern. Number four, defensive end, Adrian Key. Consistently is in the backfield. Uh, granted, he's not facing Trent Williams, but Key is facing everyone else and playing well. Today, he stripped the ball from Trey Lance when Lance was trying to hand it off. Uh, then Key recovered the fumble and returned it for a touchdown. Looks like it'll make the team. Number five, defensive tackle, uh, Kevontae Street. Uh, started that defensive tackle in, uh, in place of uh, Javon Kinlaw. Uh, who says he isn't injured but hasn't participated in team drills yet in training camp. Which is fine because Street is better than him right now. Street was the reason Lance scrambled so much today because Street kept beating rookie guard Aaron Banks. Okay, number six, Nat Stutfield. <coughs> Nate Stutfield. Uh, completed all six of his pass attempts one day after going O for free. Good for Nate. Yesterday I wrote that he was wasting everyone's time and should be on the team. Today he proved me wrong. So if the 49ers try Jimmy G soon, and they should um, soon, and they should. They know they st uh, they still have a, a quality backup quarterback on the roster. Uh, number seven quarterback Josh Rosen threw only three passes, but completed two of them. Uh, Rosen has improved immensely every day in camp. He's another good backup. The 49ers don't need Garoppolo anymore. Jeez. Okay, they're not so good. Wide receiver Mohamed Sanyu. Dropped one pass and let another one hit him in the back because he didn't turn his head to locate the ball. This guy is one injury away from starting from the 49ers. Scary fault. Wide receiver, Jin Lin Hurd, uh, didn't show up to practice for the second day in a row. Yesterday was supposed to be planned uh, maintenance day, whatever what that means. Uh, no word yet on why you missed today's practice. I'm starting to wonder if Hurd is, really, uh, is real or just a fragment of our imaginations. Have we humiliated the entire tension of the 49ers? Is he still on the team? Or was he ever on the team? Number three, Nick Bosa again. Returned to practice after scheduled maintenance day, but did not uh, participate on a one-on-one -on -one or 11-on-11 -on -11 team drills, which means he still hasn't engaged in any physical competition, and we're a third of the way through training camp. Seems like the 49ers will maintain Bosa's knee and keep his practice time to the bare minimum this year. Smart decision. Now he just needs to get vaccinated. Shit, he still ain't got vaccinated either. It's unreal. Um, tight end George Kittle. Uh, missed the practice with a scheduled maintenance day, which is strange because I don't know Kittle was nursing on injury. Trent Williams didn't need a maintenance day this week. Neither did Alex Mack, and they're both older than Kittle. What has Kittle done since he signed his mega contract then missed time? He needs to do better. Cornerback, uh, Ambria Thomas. Uh, Thomas got beaten by uh, River Carfield during one-on-one, -on -one, gave up two catches to Debo Samuel during 11-on-11 11 11 and committed a defensive pass interference penalty for good measure. So far, Thomas is having a terrible camp. So Kittle and Bosa. Bosa is scaring me 
big time. I mean, I don't know what's going on, but he is scaring me. That guy is scaring me. I don't know how they're going to do it. I just don't know what's going on. I really don't, but it is a terrifying thing to see. Um, Both are not doing nothing, and he needs to do something. Vaccination. But listen, he does what he does with vaccinations, but he needs to get his head out of his ass, and he needs to be hit with something. Because regular season, oh sorry, and the off season, let alone a regular, is going to get hit. Um, so yeah, time will absolutely tell on that one. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you very much. Um, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think of that article of day four. Um, thank you very much for the forty subscribers as well. Really fortunate. I appreciate it that you subscribed. And if you are new, subscribe, guys, because I'll be doing a lot more forty nine ers news. Um, I'll be on the off season. I'll be doing videos of the off season. I'll be doing live streams for the regular season, and um, yeah, bit then I'll be doing other bits as well for gaming and so forth. Um, yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys uh, on the next video.